So most of you probably didn't realize this, but AI tools like Notebook LM and Anti-Gravity can literally build apps in a matter of minutes that you can put on the internet and potentially monetize in a number of different ways, even if you're just getting started. Now I'm gonna be honest with you, apps are definitely a higher level digital product and they used to be really difficult to make without understanding how to code. But with AI, getting started with them in 2026 is actually a lot more simple than you might think. And in this video, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know step by step, so make sure you stick around. Now, what exactly do I mean when I say app? So there's so many different types of apps out there. We've got mobile applications, we've got softwares as a service, but we've also got things like this, which is basically a web app. And I've shown this example on my channel on a previous video, but this is a simple invoice generator. So people can go onto it, they're gonna be able to use it when it comes to making invoices. But as we can see, they've been able to monetize through a number of different ways, but the obvious one is by placing ads on their homepage. But one thing that I've noticed is that applications just like this are really basic and you're gonna be able to replicate them, but integrate AI in a way that's going to make things a little bit more valuable to the end user. Because if I just go over to similar web, as you guys can see over here, they're still doing really well. They're getting over 2.1 monthly visits. But imagine if you was able to build something similar, but again, make it a little bit more modern, make it more improved. You're gonna be able to possibly take a fraction of the people that are going onto their site every single month. And of course, I'm just using this one as an example, but I'm gonna show you exactly what I would personally do if I wanted to replicate this, I wanted to improve it, and I wanted to use Notebook LM and Anti-Gravity to help me do it. And another reason why I'm using this app as an example in this video is because if we go over to Google Trends, as you can see, I've typed in AI invoice generator. So this is what people are searching for and more and more people have been searching for this month after month, year after year. So there's definitely a big potential when it comes to the amount of people that I'm able to get onto it. But of course, I'm gonna break down everything in this video when it comes to building it, when it comes to marketing strategies and everything in between. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is go over to Notebook LM. And the way that this AI tool can be used is to give us clarity when it comes to the best steps to take when it comes to building out this app. And it's not just for building web apps, mobile apps. You can use Notebook LM for any type of digital products, eBooks, audio books, digital planners, spreadsheets, so on and so forth. But in today's video, of course, we're focused on apps. So what you're going to need to do is go over to notebooklm.google. You're not gonna to need to pay anything for it. You're going to use the free individual plan. So you just need to make sure that you're logged into your Gmail account and then click on try Notebook LM. What it's going to do is then take you to this page where you need to give it a source reference for it to refer to. So what I'm gonna do is click on copy text. And in this box, what you need to do is give it a specific custom prompt for the web app that you're looking to build so that you're gonna be able to program your Notebook LM when it comes to giving you the best guidance. And for you to get the custom prompt, what you're gonna do is go over to this prompt builder. You're gonna be able to find this link down below. It may be the top link, maybe the second link in the description. And once again, this is also free to use at the time of me making this video. So all you need to do is go over to the homepage just like this. So when you click that link, I'm gonna send you the direct link to this page straight away. It's gonna take maybe a few seconds for you to receive it. And of course, in this case, what we're doing initially is using Notebook LM. So I'm just gonna select it just like that. One of the first questions that it's gonna come back with when it comes to helping us structure this prompt is what type of digital product are you interested in creating? So today what we're doing is building an AI built web app. So I'm just gonna select it just like that, click on next. It's gonna take you through a series of different questions, e.g. what is your skill level? I'm gonna select that. Why do you wanna make this digital product? I'm gonna select this answer. For this next question over here, what type of niche do you wanna focus on? If you can't see anything that you like, click on something else, enter what you're working on. As you can see, I've just put AI powered invoice generator. I'm gonna click on next. How do you want to sell this digital product? I'm gonna say that I wanna sell it on Google Anti-Gravity. So I'm going to select this one, click on next. What color scheme do you want? I'm gonna say minimal and modern. And finally, how do you plan to promote this digital product? I'm gonna say that I plan to promote it using blogging. Let's click on generate prompt. All right, perfect. So it's now come back with this full prompt. So all you need to do is click on copy prompt just like that. 
Go back over to Notebook LM, paste everything in there just like this. As you can see, there's a very detailed prompt that's going to be in this box. Don't change anything. Don't make any adjustments to it. Just click on insert. And what it's going to do is come back with a summary of the app that you're looking to build and all of the answers that you gave in the prompt builder. So all you've got to do from here is just type in next. And then what it's going to do next is that it's going to come back with some different brand names that you can choose from. So this is definitely helpful because it's going to be tailored to the app that you're looking to build. So it's going to give you these different options. If you don't want to pick any of them, you're going to be able to choose your own. So what I'm going to do is pick this one and then type in next. And then what's basically going to happen from that point is that it's going to take you through various different questions when it comes to giving you clarity as to what you can implement in your app. So as you can see, it's letting me know all of these different functions that I can add. It's coming back with the different ways that I can present it to the user. It's also come back with ways that I can price it and things that I can do when it comes to getting traffic. A lot of things that most people don't really think about. So you're going to be able to go through all of these different questions, tell your notebook LM exactly what you're trying to do. And then finally, it's going to come back with the platform that you're going to build your app on. And as you can see, it's given me these two different options, either hosting or horizons, or what you can do is use Google anti-gravity. So today we're going to go with this one and I'm just going to type in next. And then what it's going to do is come back with a prompt that I'm going to be able to copy and paste directly into anti-gravity for me to start building this out. But to be completely honest with you guys, Notebook LM is definitely helpful due to everything I just showed you when it comes to getting clarity. But the main feature of it and the reason why you're going to use it throughout this process is due to the studio section that you can see on the right hand side. So with this one, what you're going to be able to do is use the video overview section. Of course, there's these other ones as well. Data table, quizzes, flashcards, mind map, audio overview. But I'm going to focus on the video overview section today. Because what you're able to do is enter a prompt as to what you're trying to figure out when it comes to building this app. So if you wanted to get information on step by step how to get traffic, step by step how to launch your app in the right way, you're going to be able to type it in this box. And then it's going to come back with a tailor made mini course that is going to be, of course, specific to what you're trying to build because you would have already programmed your notebook LM to begin with. But we're going to go back to Notebook LM in a minute. I'm going to show you the different mini courses that I was able to make later on after I build out this app. So if you're following along and you haven't installed anti-gravity yet, the way that you can find it is by going over to antigravity.google. This is the interface that you're going to see. And what you need to do is download it onto your system. So if you've got a MacBook, you're just going to select this one. It's going to take no more than a few minutes for you to install it on your device. And once again, you're not going to have to pay anything when it comes to using anti-gravity. And I would say that's the best part about it because you're going to be able to go back and forth with it. You know, use it as a coder. You're going to be able to use it as a team member. It's going to be able to do so many different things in the back end. It's going to be able to access your browser, make sure that your app is working as it should. And there's not going to be any real limits when it comes to any revisions that you want to make. So I found it really helpful right there. As you can see, the individual plan is going to be zero dollars per month. There's going to be some other advanced plans if you're looking to take this a little bit more serious. But I would say the majority of you that are looking to get started are going to be able to do a lot with the individual plan. And once you've installed it on your computer and you've opened it up within your applications, this is the next thing that you're going to see. And as you can see, it looks like a super simple AI tool, just like any other one that you're going to use, where you're going to be able to enter your prompt into this box. And the way that this works is that once you enter a prompt, given the instructions on what type of app you want to build, it's going to go straight to work to start building it out. And it's going to save it directly on a folder on your computer. You're going to get all the information once it's done. It's going to let you know where it saved it and you're going to be able to launch it, deploy it. But we're going to talk about that as we move forward. And when it comes to the best prompt to use at this stage, once again, you can use Notebook LM because at the end, it should give you the prompt that you can now copy and paste into anti-gravity. But if you wanted to get a little bit more of a precise tailor-made prompt for the app that you're building, you could just go back over to the prompt builder and then click on new project. It's going to take you over here once again. If you want to gain access to this, it's going to be linked down below. So all you got to do is click on Google anti-gravity in this case. And it's going to take you through around six different questions. So question one, what type of web app do you want to build? As you can see, there's so many different options, but 
Right now we're building an invoice generator as an example. So I'm just gonna click on that and then click on next. Who is this web app mainly for? So there's all of these different options, but I'm gonna say that it's going to be mainly for small business owners. What problem should this app help people solve? I'm gonna say that it should help them to prepare invoices in less than one minute using AI. What should the user input to get results from this app? So it's gonna be numbers and values in this case. What should the app show the user after they click continue? I'm gonna say something else because I can't see the one that I need here. So I'm just going to type in a ready to use PDF invoice made with AI. Idle color scheme is going to be dark green and white. And then let's click on generate prompt. Okay, there we go. So it's now come back with this full prompt that I'm gonna be able to copy and paste. Just make sure that all of your answers are correct in this box in section one. If you're happy with it, all you need to do is click on copy full prompt. Then go back over to anti-gravity, paste everything in there just like this. Now you're gonna get the option of all of these different models, Gemini 3, you can use Claude Sonnet, you can use Claude Opus, or you can use GPT. I'm gonna say Claude Opus is probably going to be the best, Sonnet is decent, Gemini 3 Pro is also decent as well, but I'm gonna go with this one today just to see exactly what it's able to do. I'm gonna leave it on fast as well, and then I'm just gonna click on send. And as we can see, anti-gravity has already gone straight to work to start building this out. And just to kind of reiterate why anti-gravity is good is because it acts like you've got a full development team and it's gonna be completely for free. You're gonna be able to use it with various different aspects of building an app from coding to designing, to the back end to the front end, to the functionality. So many different aspects of it. You're gonna be able to enter prompts if you're not happy with anything and it's gonna be able to make the change in less than a few minutes. So the old way of doing things, you would have needed to understand all of this code that you can see on the screen, but now you don't need to do anything with it. You're just gonna let it do its thing. It's gonna build everything out. It's gonna take a few minutes. And once it's done, it's gonna let you know that it's finished. It's also gonna test out the app to make sure that it works. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes for it to complete what it's doing. And as soon as it has, I'm gonna be back ASAP and I'm gonna show you the final result. Okay guys, I'm back and it seems to have completed the app. So I'm just going to open up the folder that's in my documents. Okay, so here we go. This is what it was able to come back with. And bear in mind guys that everything I've shown you in this video is what I've done whilst you've been watching it. So it's probably taken around five to 10 minutes for me to get to this point. And this is something that still blows my mind up until today because this is super professional. Everything looks modern. Everything looks ready to go. It's even got this floating graphic right here that gives it the extra touch. But we're just gonna make sure that it actually works in terms of the purpose that it was intended for, which is to generate invoices in less than two minutes. So when a user goes onto it, they're gonna be able to click on get started. And it's gonna take the person through a series of different questions when it comes to being able to generate an invoice because not that many people know how to structure an invoice. They don't know exactly where to put the information in the right place. So by using this AI invoice generator, they're gonna be able to save a lot of time. And this is the mindset that you guys need to have with the app that you're looking to build. You need to try and figure out what problem are you solving, how you're gonna be able to help people out and how you're gonna be able to translate that message to them when you're now doing your marketing. So I'm just gonna fill out this information and show you exactly how it works. So question one is what is my business name? Let's just go with, this one today, click on next. What is your business address? I'm just gonna put a random address. What is the invoice date? So it's got this calendar. You're gonna be able to select a date. Let me just select this one over here. What is your client's name? I'm just gonna say Google PLC as an example. I'm gonna put USA as the address. What service or product do you provide? Let's just say marketing. What is the amount being charged? Let's just say 1,000 click on next. Do you need tax? I'm going to say no. What is your bank details? I'm just going to put random numbers today, just like that. Click on generate invoice. And as you can see, it's now come back with this ready to go invoice that I'm going to be able to use straight away. So I'm sure that you guys are amazed and you're probably already getting ideas as to what you're going to go away and build because the fact that this works as it is, because I'm going to be able to click on save as PDF just like that, as you can see, it's got the PDF with all the information I put in it. And to be honest, yes, building a web app to put out there for people to use is the number one goal. But if you're also able to build an app that you can use yourself, that's definitely a step in the right direction because this is something that I would personally use. 
And being able to use anti-gravity doesn't end there. It's not just going to be able to build things out. It's going to be able to also create the back end, as I've already said. So with this app, let's say if I wanted the users to be able to create an account so that they can save their invoices, I'm going to be able to go back over to anti-gravity, enter this prompt, tell it exactly what I want to do. I want you to now add a sign up feature so that people can create an account to save their invoices. Something as simple as that, then I can click on send. And as you can see, it's already come back, letting me know exactly which back end it's going to use. In this case, it said that it's going to add Firebase. It's going to do everything it needs to do when it comes to creating the authentication, the logic, just everything that I probably wasn't even thinking about. And that's another benefit to using anti-gravity. If you're someone that's just interested in coding and you want to know more about how to build these different things, just seeing exactly how it implements everything and what it's going to do, is just going to give you insight into the key things that you need to know if you're a complete beginner that's just getting into this and you're trying to increase your knowledge. But here we have it guys, I've gone back onto the app that it was able to build for me and there's a new addition at the top over here where people can either log in or they're going to be able to sign up and this isn't just for the sake of demonstration purposes, this has actually been connected to a back end database that's going to be fully functional. But yeah, for the most part, that's how anti gravity works. Of course, there's so many other things that goes into it. For example, marketing, launching your app, making sure that it's been launched in a way that people are going to be able to use it with no issues. And this is where Notebook LM is now going to step back in. If you're someone that's confused about what to do next, you're going to be able to go back to the notebook that you made with the custom prompt and you're going to use the video overview section. I've already done it over here when it comes to getting insights on how I can get traffic to this web app and also what I need to do when it comes to launching it in the right way. So let's start off with the launching video first. I'm just going to play a short snippet of it. All right, let's dive right in. Today, we are going to take that awesome AI app idea that's been rattling around in your head and turn it into a real live product. And you want to know the best part? We're going to do it all step by step without writing a single line of code. You know that feeling, right? You get a flash of inspiration for an app, but then your mind immediately jumps to complex coding, databases, servers, and the whole idea just feels impossible. Well, if that sounds familiar, you've come to the right place. So that's a quick preview of the first video. Let's go over to a snippet of the traffic video. So you did it. You poured hours, maybe months, into building an amazing web app. The code is perfect, the design is beautiful, but now what? If you're staring at an empty user dashboard, you are not alone. It's a super common story. But here's the thing. An empty launch isn't a product problem. It's a planning problem. And that's exactly what we're going to solve today. So there you have it. That is another video that Notebook LM is going to be able to make. And it doesn't stop there. Whatever topic, whatever issue you're dealing with, all you need to do is just go over to the video overview section, click on this pencil icon, enter the issue that you're dealing with right here. And the AI host is going to be able to answer it in the most effective way because it's going to be powered by Google. So I'm hoping from this video, you have a full understanding of how you can use Notebook LM in conjunction with anti-gravity or any other web application tool when it comes to inserting the right prompt using the prompt builder website going to be linked down below when it comes to knowing exactly what steps to take to make sure that your app is going to provide as much value to the people that are going to be using it and everything that you need to do when it comes to mastering the traffic side of things now if you've enjoyed this video you've learned anything you got any sort of value from it don't forget to press the like button i really appreciate that Comment down below, let me know what type of web app you're thinking about building. Is this the type of digital product that you want to build? Is there another one that you're trying to build? Let me know down below. I'm trying my best to respond back to as many people as possible. And if you want to watch another YouTube video that I made not too long ago, we're well, in this video. I'm going to break down step by step what you need to know when it comes to building the most simplistic type of digital product, in my personal opinion, for 2026. You're going to be able to watch that video by clicking the link right there. Check that out straight after this because that video has already helped out countless people. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it from the very start all the way to the very end, it's also going to help you out as well. But as always, guys, I'm going to catch you on that next video. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.